Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a roundup video from my Cult Beauty Advent calendar. So if you are not new here, you will know that I was posting some shorts and reels and on Facebook I was posting some uh, little reel type videos as well of me opening my Cult Beauty Advent calendar daily and then it kind of just dropped off and disappeared. Life happened as is the norm with me and this channel apparently. Um, so unfortunately I kind of fell behind. One of the main reasons actually was that my editing software decided to just disappear for a few days and by the time I managed to get it back I was so far behind and with it being so close to Christmas there was just there was just a lot going on um, so I kind of fell behind and in the end I kind of just went is it worth me even posting anything I did put a poll up on YouTube though on my community tab to see if you lovely people would still like to see what was in the advent calendar and mm, at the time when I checked nobody said no I got a lot of yeses and I got a lot of just do it as a roundup video so here we are one roundup video coming up so I'm not going to talk about all of the doors and all of the products because I have already posted some shorts of those so if you are interested I did put them in a playlist I'll put that up one of the corners here I can never remember which side it is it'll be somewhere above my head here um, so you can check those out at your leisure um, we'll just be concentrating today on the drawers that I didn't open and then doing a quick little overview of the products that I liked and some of the products that I maybe wasn't so fond of and then talk about whether I think it was worth it and whether I'll do it again next year so let's first of all let's take a look at the drawers that I didn't get around to opening before Christmas okay now that that's done I am going to pop a little um, video of all the products together so you can see everything that was that was in there you can see what that looked like as a as a total collection of products and I don't know let me know what you think in the comments about whether this was a calendar that you think was good whether you thought it was worth it for the price it was quite expensive I can't remember exactly how much it was now but I feel like it was something like 225 I used Klarna to do that because I, I couldn't afford to do that all in one go but I knew this was a calendar that I wanted it was the only calendar I was going to be getting so I treated myself and um, also I haven't bought a lot for myself this year makeup and beauty products wise so I, I did sort of justify it that way to myself as well but anyway less about that overall I think this was a nice calendar I don't I don't think it was as good as last year's and I really really hate to say it last year's I got so excited by so many products and this year just sort of fell a bit flat for me if I'm going to be honest there were some really nice products and some that I was quite keen to try and, and, and excited about but there were a couple that I was just like really do, really um, and I think I think if you watch the shorts for the draw that I'm about to talk about you'll know you'll know what I'm about to say um I can't remember what day it was in but these so these were from hair gain and they are hair gummies and granted there were 60 gummies in here which is a month's worth because it does say on the instructions to take two a day I, natural apple and berry flavor it's just gummies i don't understand the need for gummies in a beauty advent calendar i know they're supposed to promote hair growth and that but it's vitamins which for me falls more under healthcare which I think is quite specific, quite 
quite a lot of people have got things tailored to their own needs some people will be taking medication that means they can't take certain types of vitamins for me this is just a bit of a it shouldn't be it shouldn't be in a beauty advent calendar um whenever we've had gummies in um beauty boxes subscription boxes i've always felt the same way about that i don't see that changing anytime soon for me this was probably the worst product in the calendar purely because it's it's just something that i don't believe should be in there but that's my own personal thoughts on that you obviously might have a different opinion if you do let me know let me know what you think and why in the comments um i you know everybody's everybody's different everybody's got their own personal sort of feelings on it but just for me it no it's not it's not a beauty product um and the other thing that i was a bit uh, about was this actually it's from a brand called the seated queen which i had never heard of um I think this is quite cute on the top of the box here i quite like that as a brand logo type thing it's it's a cold cream which i i didn't even know that cold creams still existed i didn't i didn't know cold cream still existed i didn't really know what they were for but it says on here that it's an evening cleanser night mask on the box it just says one soothing night product three ways makeup remover and cleanser facial or overnight mask plumps and smooths dull and dehydrated dehydrated skin intensely moisturizing restores suppleness and improves elasticity made with organic rose hip and borage seed it just says as a makeup remover apply a thin veil to dry skin remove with damp and cloth and as a night mask to apply to damp cleansed skin leave as required and remove with a dampened cloth i just i mm, mm, it's not something i see myself wanting to use especially as when you open it up the texture it looks like the cold cream that i remember my nan having and um it kind of smells like it too now i don't know what brand my nan used to have but uh, wow uh mm, it's not for me i don't see myself using this i am i am going to see if i can find a home for this because i just I don't, I don't see myself using it at all on a more positive note though, I, I've rounded everything up into the largest drawer here. I do have quite a lot of products in here that I am keen on, that I'm either keen to try because I've never tried them before, or it's products that I've had before that I've really enjoyed. Um, so let's, let's get into these. So first up, we've got this from Summer Fridays and this is the uh, cc me serum it's a brightening serum i love i love serums i love brightening serums combine the two together we're pretty much onto a winner summer fridays is a brand that i've now got a few things from i just haven't really got into trying them yet but this packaging just feels so nice it feels really like good quality it feels weighty i don't know why heft makes me think of quality um but it's just a little pump action thing there i'm really keen to try this i'm really keen to try this brand in general and i think now that i've got a few products i'm gonna try and use them together at some point to do a bit of a like a brand trial kind of thing so happy with that really keen to try that this from way the um scalp and body scrub i've had this before i had a sample loved it got a full size in a fab fit fun i am currently using it i love it and to get one of these in the calendar i know it's only tiny but it's travel sized so if i do go away anywhere i can take this with me this actually this one is in the fragrance melrose place it is the one that came in the calendar and 
the fragrance, I think it's the same fragrance as the large one I've got that I had from FabFitFun. Um, this actually wasn't the one that was supposed to be in the calendar. What was supposed to be in the calendar was the same product but in the fragrance St. Bart's. It's a slightly different package in there. And I'll explain why I have this one as well. Cult Beauty sent the calendars out and then I got an email a few weeks later to say whoops we've just realised we've put the wrong product in so if you use this code we will send you for free the version that you were supposed to have so it didn't have to pay postage your packaging didn't have to pay for the product it was absolutely a hundred percent free so basically got two for one so can't complain at that it is a product that i enjoy using and the fragrance that we were supposed to get the st bart's fragrance Oh, it's so nice it's it smells a little bit fruity and reminds me of holidays i'm not sure why but it, it's so good i opened this up when it came and gave it a sniff and just thought oh, i'm so glad they sent this to me um and i haven't used it because one i've got the large one open and two i was kind of waiting to talk about it with you guys before i do but uh now that i've done that that is going straight into my bathroom and is going to be used pretty much immediately so really happy with those sunday riley really expensive brand so it's always nice to see a full-size product um for something like that in an advent calendar and this is a full-size product this is the Good Genes Glycolic Acid Treatment. I do have a sample of this, I just haven't used it yet. So I think I'm gonna use that first and see how I feel about it. If I like it, I'll use the full size. If not, then I've, somebody's getting a very nice gift from me. Um, but I've been really keen to try this for a while and for obvious reasons, it's expensive. I, I haven't got around to it, so uh, yeah really really thrilled to have this in the calendar um can't wait to try that glow recipe and we've got the plump plump hyaluronic cream um i love the little jar in this you'll have just seen that in the clip i've just showed um but yeah happy with that i i've quite enjoyed a few glow recipe products that that i've tried so i'm keen to give this a go excited i'm just excited by this i'm just excited by the packaging i just think glow recipe is a brand where the packaging is part of the experience and i love it and i'm keen to try the product inside the jar as well this from medicate is the crystal retinol uh how is that say ceramide ceramide i3 i am currently using where is it I am currently using this from Medicaid and I don't know if you can see that with the light shining on it but this is the Crystal Retinol 3 Stable Retinol Night Serum. Um, I have been trying this out for the last couple of months now. I am, I'm not using it every day, I'm using it about twice a week if I remember um, but when I do use it I really do enjoy it. Um, I'm not going to say it you know makes me look instantly youthful it doesn't but it does make my skin feel really nice and i do feel like the following day my skin looks a little bit more glowy than it did the day before so i've really been enjoying that so i'm i'm happy that this was in there for me to try for the uh eye version so yeah keen for that this was the very first item that we got this was on day one and it's from say and it's the glowy super gel full-size product it's in the shade star glow you can see that on the top of the box there and i love products like this i do use them i don't use them every single day so how long it's going to take for me to get through this product i don't know but that is a full-size little glowy serum type thing and it just a little bit out there you can see what that looks like so just a little bit of product there and it, you can either use this as a, a highlighter just a straight up liquid highlighter or you could just use it as a bit of a glowy sort of moisturizer to go underneath your moisturizer 
think that would look really pretty as well excuse that i burned my hand before christmas it just looks really pretty and um, what i will probably end up using it for is to mix in with my moisturizer just to make my moisturizers a little bit more glowy so on days where i'm sort of going makeup free i'm not wearing a lot of makeup maybe i'm just using moisturizer a bit of mascara and lip gloss and off we go out the door um i will probably just mix a product like this into my moisturizer just to give me that sort of healthier glow rather than just looking like i've rolled out of bed and done the bare minimum which is accurate uh but we don't need to tell the world that do we so yeah so really happy with that and it's a really really good size as well and i, I, I got very excited because that was that was a cracking start to the to the calendar that was these initially i was a bit dubious about i kind of thought hmm okay i'm not sure how i feel about that um these are from Dew. they are the forever eye masks which just basically means they are reusable eye patches um they do have a little bit of branding on there i don't know if you can see that with that light but that's that's what they look like they're, they're, they are just reusable patches just put some serum on put the eye masks on leave for about 10 minutes and then just wash the eye masks put them back in the tin and reuse them and originally i was a bit like nah, um, yeah well whatever um but actually i think it's a really good idea i i have eye masks i like eye masks i just don't use them very often so if i can have something like this where i just use it as and when i feel like it and i'm not pressured to use something by a certain date then I just think that can only be a good thing. So I'm actually really, really excited for those now, which may be a bit sad. I don't I don't care. I don't care. I, I really like the idea of these. Next we've got a cheeky tint from Huda Beauty. And this is in the shade Coral Cutie. Um, it's just a, a coral lip and cheek tint, really. Uh, but it does look it looks pretty i mean that packaging just looks very bright very colorful um i will definitely be using this more as a cheek product than a lip product i think i'll definitely get on better with that as a blush rather than a lipstick if you sort of sheer it out a bit you can see it does it does sheer out quite nicely i just think that's going to look really really pretty as a blush so really keen to try that one we also had this from the brand rowan and i was keen to try this purely because there was a rowan product in last year's calendar it was a highlighting stick and it was so pretty it still is pretty i still own it it still works it still is pretty so i was keen to try these eyeshadows from the brand this is the eyes on me palette and I opened this up and I was actually a little bit surprised because you've got two cream um, shadows here and then you've got a powder and a more glittery sort of formula down here. It's not glitter, it's just, but it is chunky. It is a little bit chunky. I've, I've tried it and it's, it's okay. I want to give it more of a play um but I've, I've got to say this this shade right here this copper shade so pretty very very pretty let me just i'll see if i can find a spare a look at that absolutely gorgeous so i'm definitely keen to try that a little bit more uh it is it is neutral which i think is why i was a little bit and still am a little bit mm, i don't know but that right there makes me think that's my kind of neutral so excited to try that a little bit more and then the last thing i'm going to talk about is this from by Rado. So this is the Astronomical Mascara Volume and I'm going to be honest, pretty much the only reason I'm excited by this is because of the packaging. 
it's in a little slidey outy box <laughs> look at that look at the packaging on that isn't that weird I have seen some Boy Rado products sort of advertised and the packaging just looks really, really quirky. It's so expensive though. There's no way I'm ever buying a piece of, of makeup myself because it is just so expensive. But I thought that was so cute. Um, I'm not going to be using this right now. I do currently have two mascaras on the go. I think a third one would be overkill, especially since I never make it through a mascara anyway. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that was so cute. The package, it's just so much fun. Um, and that's literally the only reason I'm excited for it. But there are worse things to be excited about a product for, I suppose. So that's that. So that does conclude my little roundup of the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar from 2023. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this calendar. Did you get it? Did you like it? Did you not like it so much? Let me know all of that. I really do love to hear all your thoughts and opinions. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button before you leave. It really does help me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content. And if you are new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button before you leave because I really would love to see you come back and hitting that subscribe button will just help you to find me a little bit more easily in future. So with all of that being said, I do hope everyone's well and having a great new year so far and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.